thing. What a, one point I've always agreed with you on is that if we liberate Kuwait and we liberate Iraq, they need to pay us for the liberation. We need to give money to the families that lost brave American soldiers or are injured now for the rest of their lives. We don't do that. Um, and I also think that if, and, and if Obama way, Sean, would have, if I, I, he would have I, held the ground, ISIS never would have emerged. He wanted to pull out for political reasons. I love that you bring up Kuwait. Kuwait had nothing but money. They get attacked by Iraq. They take over Kuwait. The rich Arabs go and they move into London, as you know, the Kuwaitis, they moved into London. They didn't take a room like you would, or maybe even I would. They took the entire hotel and they lived like kings. And then we attack, we lose lives, we spent billions of dollars, and we give back the country for nothing. Nothing, nothing. And they don't even want to invest in, and then I told them, I had them in my office a few months after that, they don't like investing in the United States, okay? We gave them the country back for nothing. We should have said, we want 50% of everything you make for the next 50 years or permanently. And you know what? They would have agreed to it. We gave it back for nothing. Why did we do that? We're a stupid country. That's the answer. We negotiate bad deals. I agree with you. Let